This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where creative and curious people can go to explore their creativity and learn all sorts of new skills from experts in their fields. With thousands of classes to explore on everything from fine art to business and marketing, Skillshare is a place to go. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, master, or just a dabbler, there are classes on all sorts of skill levels, and it's all online, so it'll match any schedule. Right now, I'm checking out a class called Productivity for Creatives by Thomas Frank, who is a YouTuber I've been watching for years. I am very excited. I think he has a great outlook. So I know this is going to help a lot as I'm picking up some new projects here pretty soon. Another great thing about Skillshare is that it is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and always have some new skill, hobby, or information ready for you to explore. And you know, I got a hot deal for you here, folks. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. So go try it out. It's free. It helps support my channel when you use the link. Win, win, win. There's no risk, all reward. So enjoy. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Hey, what's up, folks? It is Ty here to wish you all a happy Pride Month. In celebration of being able to attend Pride after a year and a half of avoiding public places like the plague. Anyways, I was very excited to actually get to dress up and leave the house, so I went all out and decided to curate an entire series of looks <laughs> for the various genres of trans guys attending Pride. It's all in good fun, please don't take any of this personally. Starting with our first look, the acoustic queer. Here we've got a sort of generic Pride crop top paired with a corduroy skirt and some tan vans. This is a look that says, although I use he, they pronouns year round, Pride is the only time when people out outside of my close circle will actually refer to me with they them pronouns so I'm trying to get as many of those in as possible. Also I'm stoned as hell right now and my cat is my best friend. Oh yeah, so I've done the testosterone shots, I've tried intramuscular and subcutaneous. I did the pellet and the gel, I did the cream, I've done the toothpaste. I tried the essential oil where you like diffuse it. Have you tried the testosterone bath water one? Where you just put a couple drops in your bath water? No, after your bath, I know it's, it's weird, but it works. I tried one where you just wake up really early in the morning and you say the word testosterone really slowly. I don't know, if you like manifest it, I guess. But yeah, now I'm doing this thing, um, I'm microdosing it uh, with, with mushrooms. It's like way more natural. Next up for your consideration is the post-op pride. This outfit simply consists of some bright patterned board shorts with a nice accent croc to match. This look says, I just got top surgery this year and I am ready to celebrate my first shirtless summer. Teet yeet, designer nipples, all the memes, you're about to hear them from me all day. Enjoy. And truly it is well deserved, don't get me wrong. To further spice up this look, you can grab some body paint and write something like trans rights or hashtag BLM on your chest or torso to serve up some activism with the energy of a crazed sports fan. Effectively making yourself the human version of a balloon that says rest in peace. You know, it looks like a party at first, uh, but it's actually a pretty serious situation. And I totally respect that. Does anybody have sunscreen? Up next, we have the main character, a beautiful mix of business and party. 
this is really like the mullet of outfits. To me, this look says, all of my money goes towards funding my elaborate wardrobe of statement pieces. Also, if you're going to look at my Instagram, make sure you listen to the Spotify playlist that I have linked on there. It's basically a backing track uh, for my post, and you'll see there are cues of when to skip to the next song. It really helps convey the theme of each chapter of my life. It's like a, a fully curated audiovisual experience. It's mostly Kim Petrus. I'm the main character. Next is a look that I'm calling Pride's Not Dead. It's kind of a hot topic grab bag of an outfit. It just lets everyone know that you will be constantly filming any cops that you see at the event. However, you will retreat and shut down at the uh, slightest indication of any sort of confrontation. <laughs> The outfit that I wanted to wear was banned this year. Our next look is the classic mask. Tank top, cargo shorts, tennis shoes, sunglasses. It is a classic, hence the name. Sporty, outdoorsy, and a little basic. This look defined a generation of trans masculines, and it is an honor to have rocked this, um, and still sometimes currently do rock this look. It's a look that says, even though I'm 40 years old with a wife and kids, I still get ID'd at 18 and up clubs. Cargo shorts have been a staple of my wardrobe for the last 20 years, and that's not going to end anytime soon. I personally dig it. I've titled this next look Business Homo Casual, the classic combination of staple trans masculine wardrobe pieces. This outfit says, I'm a type A verse king, and being queer is the biggest risk I'll ever take in my life. I look great, I smell great, and I know literally every person here. And oh my god, we have got to get together soon. You think you know Say Tyler Oakley? No, I've never heard of that. I, I guess I just don't know what that is. Sorry. The, the last look of our lineup today is one that I've titled Davy Dukes. And this is a fun little fake out look because at first, you know, you might just see the hat and think, oh shit, we're about to get hate crimed. But then you see the rest of the outfit and you're like, oh no, we're, we're definitely good. This is one that people might wrongfully assume is ironic. So you have to be willing to genuinely commit and pull this look off if you're going to rock it. And it's a great one if you can do it. I think I got something stuck up in my undercarriage. Yeah, I'm gonna hog tie you. I'm gonna hog tie you, big suit. We're gonna hog tie this big bitch. So there you go, folks. Some pride looks for your consideration. And if none of that's doing it for you, check out the new pride merch. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Hope you all had a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.